In this video, we'll add six SSDs to an AFF C190 to show how easy this activity is using System Manager. ONTAP by default partitions SSDs so that each SSD has two data partitions that can be added to new or existing aggregates. In this demo, we will be adding data partitions on the new SSDs to an existing aggregate's RAID groups. We'll first select aggregates and disks then the Aggregates option to confirm the existing storage provisioning. We see the two data aggregates that were created during initial setup. Next, we'll drill into one of the aggregates to check its underlying configuration. We see this aggregate has 3.65 terabytes of capacity available to store data. We can also see available capacity from the main aggregate menu. ONTAP is reporting the C190 has 12 SSDs installed. We next install our six new SSDs and observe ONTAP has detected them in an unassigned state. We'll go back into our aggregates menu to add the new partitions to existing aggregates. We'll start with one of the data aggregates and select Add Capacity in the pull down menu. System Manager provides an option to add new drives to existing RAID groups, which gives us the best capacity utilization, as we won't need additional parity or hot standby partitions. We next select the Change link and see System Manager has recommended how to incorporate the added capacity. System Manager shows the proposed RAID group after the six new partitions are added to the original RAID group, along with the resulting capacity that will be added to the aggregate. We'll click Add to confirm our RAID group choices. The process to incorporate the new partitions in ONTAP will continue as a background process. In the meantime, we'll add capacity to the second data aggregate with the same process used earlier. To conclude the video, we'll verify the aggregate size has increased and is ready for use. We see the capacity has increased from our original 3.65 terabytes to 5.85 terabytes. Thank you for watching this video about adding capacity to the AFF C190.